Please do subscribe to my channel by clicking on that subscribe button and please also don't forget to hit that notification bell icon to be the first one to receive the updates on this channel. What's going on guys, Janus here and today I'm bringing this video to you guys on about the wind gear, alright, in the air of light. So there are many people that who are still confused on how to really use the wind gear because they really don't know how it really works, alright. So in this video I'm gonna say about that to you guys and this video is especially for the beginners all right so anyways before we start this video i really love to recommend you guys to so please leave your views and opinions in the comment section below after this video all right and now let's get this started so let's get into the servants and let's get into the wind gear all right what it says is like you will need a four gear of it to make a set and after making a set you can actually receive a 50 percent of cooldown time reset all right so reset cooldown time by 50% and maximum of 70%. That means like you need to have two sets, all right, to have the 70% of max. And then like just one set to have a 50% of cooldown time reset. So what does the res cooldown reset does really mean, all right? So I'm gonna show it to you guys. As you can see right over here, the first thing is that like I have equipped it to my dark uncle hunt, all right? So uh, <laughs> let's see how he is gonna work out in a fight all right so let's try to work him out in a fight and then we will see right over there let's get in the awakening dungeon and then let's try in the ninth floor and instead of the yes this spiegel i would really love to put my 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 dog dungle hunt all right so let's do it all right so i will show you what it really means there are two sort of reset all right uh, i mean like one is your skill cooldown reset all right the one that actually you know like skill gaze filling up the another one is like you know the sort of like uh, the cooldown that happens whenever you use this skill okay just see right over there the clockwise moving action whenever you is use the skill you can actually use another skill for a certain period of time don't you think so just look at that it goes into a cooldown all right just look at that the circling thing the clockwise circling thing all right so Whenever you have used your first skill or uh, any any skill right now, you won't be using you won't be able to use another skill right away. So that is the problem, all right? But when you have the skill reset cooldown, then you have a certain chance that you can actually uh, cool it down really fast. Okay, so I was not able to use it in the first video, but in the next video I will surely use it. All right, just look at it. Okay, just look at it. So what happens? Like there's a fifty percent chance that the the cooldown will be reset right away without even waiting for it all right so you can use another skill right away just look at that did you see that so just if i'm using any sort of like normal skill you know like it just takes some time all right to be reset but when i'm using the dark tangle hunt skill just look at that boom okay you can use the another skill right away okay so that is only for the 50 percent meaning like there's a 50 percent chance that you will be able to use your another skill of another servant or the same servant right away that what sort of like win does you know like making you more speedy all right making you more speedy that's 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 what it does that's what it does and boom he's done he's out he's out cold so <laughs> That's what a wind gear really does. It resets the skill cooldown time, and there is a 50% chance for that to happen. All right, if you are equipping only, uh, you know, like one set, but if you are actually equipping like two set, there's a 70% chance to actually reset. All right, so that is pretty pretty good, guys. That is pretty pretty good. So depending upon the situations, you can actually use it on various sort of servants. Okay, to make your game play more faster. If you are really ready to, you know, uh, sort of like, uh, what do you say this? Uh, compromise or sacrifice the damage that you can actually receive from like let's say the beast gear or maybe let's say the havoc gear or what you can do is like you can pair it up with the havoc gear or beast gear to have sort of like half damage and half reset cooldown time so meaning like your gameplay is gonna be really really fast guys because like there are so many time that uh, people are just taking like 15 seconds or maybe 20 seconds to clear out omen but if you can do it right away then maybe you know like you can actually clear out a content pretty way too fast all right pretty way too fast so uh the next thing what i'm gonna say is like whom to equip with it with all right so i think the best thing the best uh characters that you can equip it with is 
first obviously the support character all right so, i mean like the support servant because the support servant really need to smash their skill right away and then uh, more frequently than any other uh, servant out there because they really provide a lot of buff to your team and remove the buff cleanse or whatever it is all right and the next one is the healer and finally the dps all right so dps might need it as well uh, in case of conditions where you really want to smash his first or second skill or you know like I don't think the combo skill because still the uh, the combo gaze you know like uh, the skill gaze is still gonna be a problem but still it's gonna be a very great thing guys uh, I think uh, the best thing is for support the next one is being the healer and finally the DPS alright if you are really interested in compromising your damage for some sort of like faster gameplay then you can actually go for it alright so wind gear is sort of like a little bit pretty cool and very unique to this game as well uh that is one thing all right and <clears throat> obviously uh the primary stats uh, it should go with uh, you know, like depending upon the type of servant that you are actually trying to equip you can actually um watch my video on uh, guide on what gears to equip to on like what sort of servants so that you have a better comprehension on what i'm really talking about all right and is it really worth it i think it's it's worth it depending upon the situation but in most of the general case scenario i really don't even use it all right so that's my thing but i think if you can actually smash it really nicely or like you know equip it really good then i think you can actually have a upper hand in the gameplay especially in the pvp battles all right because like it really speeds up your game it actually allows you to uh, you know like speed up your skills really really fast all right so you can get your buff or debuff you know right like instantly or nicely or especially like let's say if your servant like let's say light leto has that silence on her second skill right you can keep on smashing it right away very very fast all right so meaning like you know buff and debuff you know like as a gameplay a balance between buff and debuff you will have an upper hand in the game so it's worth it all right and then like yes it's gonna be okay even in the early game even in the mid game and even in the end game if you can actually you know like use it right and the you I mean, like probably a uh, very worthy servant all right so i think that is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contents of my channel and see you guys in the next video